You've probably seen the building as you drove south on the lodge toward downtown. This rather ordinary structure probably contains more knowledge and information than any other place in Metro Detroit. John King Books houses one million volumes with very few duplicates. Walk inside and there are books everywhere. Four floors of used books on education, politics, fiction, I have biography. Engineering and technology. Interested in travel? There are books on planes, trains, and automobiles. In this book lover's bonanza, you can find Charles Dickens on the same shelf as Jackie Collins. There are a lot of people that, are, that come in and trade their books. There are people come in and sell their books. There are people who've inherited books and sell them to us. The internet has changed the way King and his staff do business. They now buy books that are more rare or obscure, books that are difficult to find online. Plus the usual stuff too, like these, the classics like Ernest Hemingway or To Kill a Mockingbird, for example, or Catcher in the Rye, things that will never go out of style. And in a second building in back, there's the collection of art books and a rare book room that is open only only by appointment. In that room, there are the rarest of the rare, like a first edition Book of Mormon from 1830. It's in very nice condition in the original binding, and it's we're asking $100,000 for it. There's a first edition copy of The Great Gatsby. For only $5,000 and a volume with the doodles of Salvador Dali. But for most people who come to John King Books, it's about the words. The books are very much something special. Reading is an emotional experience. I tell people that all the time. So for those who cannot afford the expensive first editions, there's a card of free books in the lobby. Among the people who consider themselves most fortunate are the staff who spend their days surrounded by knowledge. I get to be a caretaker for all this stuff. And she gets to be a part of a Detroit gem.